Well, what's up guys, it's your boy Jifty here back to the game with another review and today we're gonna review the major at VW Rally A Kafer or the Volkswagen Beetle Herbie Hey, right? sneaky sneaky major at, instead of maybe collaborating with the Herbie fully loaded movie they decided to make it look as close as possible to the car and for those who don't know what I'm talking about the uh, Herbie fully loaded is like a movie about a car that's alive and if you like cars obviously I think you should watch the movie so check out this Volkswagen Kafer Rally right here really really nice I love the paint job on this one it's not white it's like he has a yellowish tint on it so that's a really really nice touch and the wheels they're not they're actually not hollowed out they're just black did uh, black markings on the wheels to make it look like they're hollowed out and the suspension on this one actually this is a small tiny problem the front suspension is just like that but the front the, the, the back is like whoa you know it goes in all the way this one is not that much but not a big deal it still has suspension and if you're playing with it yeah you can see the rear the rear wheels is the one that's really more springy so heading to the rear we do have rear light tempos the rear bumper which is part of the plastic base which is a nice touch i like how it's protruding out and this white red and blue stripe that goes across the car that's, that's a really nice touch there are no opening doors but we do have an opening front hood where you can see the engine what yeah, that's because the engine is on the back of the car. So, huh, rear wheel drive car. I mean, rear engine a car. Very, very interesting. I'm not sure whether it's really supposed to be that way in real life or because in the movie, they put it in the rear. I don't know. I'm a car scrub. Any help would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, there you can see it's an opening hood. And the front lights. I love how there's a silver detail around the front lights itself. And not just that. The front lights, they're not just plain or, uh, you know, plain or smooth. They're actually detailed. You can see it has the molding that you can actually see on the actual. Beetle itself in the movie and in real life. The sad thing is there is some defect right here. This is a red stripe uh, rub off right there. But for the most part, really cool car. Especially if you've watched the movie, you can relate, you can appreciate this car more. You know, Herbie Fully Load. It's a really cool car by Madrid. And from a scale of 1 to 10, I give this car a 9.5 out of 10, mainly because the front suspension can't go all the way. If it could go all the way, without a doubt, 10 out of 10. But for now, 9.5 out of 10 and yeah by the way thanks to mark for sending me this car shout out to you all right so that's it for the review and i'll see you guys next time bye bye